So this week we're talking about choices and um, safe choices, healthy choices, um, thoughtful choices, um, kind choices. And so I thought it'd be fun to look, revisit some books and look at the characters and some of the choices that they made in the stories. So Once Upon a Time in Dragonland was one that we had read by Amaflor Ada, illustrated by Sandra Lavandera. And um, it had the three little dragon characters. So it had daddy and mommy and baby, kind of reminds me of the three bears. But here they go. And the fun thing about this is they have some personal preferences in this book as to what they eat. Do you remember that? So here they are. <clears throat> the father was called Fire Eater. And there's a reason that he's called Fire Eater. Do you remember what he likes to eat? And then mom's dragon aunt, and she's riding a bicycle. So we remember she wanted to keep him in shape. And then, uh-oh, little dragon, his favorite food. Oh, he loved shiny vans, but his favorite were small trucks. Mmm, look at those lips. A small truck. I wonder why that was his preference. I wonder why he chose to eat small trucks. Maybe they were just the right size. Here's dad. He loved trains and the tank engines, but he really, really liked that puffing engine and the steam. So maybe he liked spicy stuff. <laughs> and then mom, of course, she is <coughs> nibbling because she wants to stay in shape. And she nibbles on buses and trucks and an occasional bike. She didn't eat very much. All right. So then this is another character that enters, and it's the little plane. And he's unsuspecting. He doesn't know that there's a baby dragon that loves to eat planes. And he lands. Oh, baby dragon is super excited. Thinks that a tasty snack had fallen out of the sky. Well, that train, or that little plane, took one little look at that dragon. And it started its engines back up and off into the sky it soared. Well, baby opened his wings. Now, remember he crawled over to the plane. So... Do you think maybe the plane took off thinking that maybe the baby dragon couldn't fly yet? I'm thinking, I might have thought that. But then baby dragon just whipped out those wings and he'd been he'd been uh, flying since he was little. The day he was born, it says. So anyway, so off that baby dragon flies after this airplane and just goes off. Mom and dad, of course, get worried because was that a safe choice? No. So they go running after him or flying after him. And look, they're all the way up at the moon playing hide and seek. I just think that would be such a scary thing. Not a safe choice, huh? So anyway, uh, some personal preferences and, and some choices that, um, I don't know, the plane I think thought a little bit, but boy, I probably was very surprised. And then uh, the baby dragon, mm, but he was a baby, so he'll learn, right? All right, what about this story, The Three Little Pigs? Oh my goodness, one of my favorites. This is retold by Jill Norris. And of course, we have one, two, three little pigs. And they're off to start their own life from mom. Say, goodbye, mom. We'll come see you later. Come over for Thanksgiving. And here's, okay, so the first little pig. He does not make good choices when he's going to construct his house. First of all, he picks straw. And he didn't choose a very a very sturdy supply. And then when he built it, he built it. Bam, it was done. He didn't spend a lot of time on it, did he? And then pig number two, he did the same thing. He didn't choose um, a very sturdy um, construction type material. Sticks. And then when he put his together, he did use a little bit more, like the hammer and nails, but still it was up so quickly. They, their houses were very fragile. That means that they were um, very breakable, weren't put together very well. Then we come to the third little pig. And he keeps walking. And oh, look at this. He finds a very sturdy material. He's very diligent when he decides that he's going to build his house. He, uh, diligent means that he is going to look at all the little details. He's going to show a lot of care and put a lot of work into his house so that it looks nice and it's sturdy. 
And look, he does. He not only picks a really good material, he takes his time. He's laying brick by brick. He's making sure everything is in place. So here's the little guy in the straw house, and here comes the wolf. And we know he didn't spend a lot of time on it. He didn't pick a very good, didn't make a good choice, a safe choice, a wise choice. And boom, down that house went. Here's the second little brother. Didn't make a great choice either. So they're both scared. And boom, his house just goes everywhere. Look at those poor little pigs. So they get to run and they run to the third little pig's house. They go inside. Look at that house. Wow. They go inside. Here comes the wolf. Uh-oh. He knocks on the door. They're hiding under the table. Oh, but he cannot blow that house down. He gets tired. Now, why do you think that the wolf chose this? Why did he make this choice? He couldn't get in through the door, so he went down the chimney. Would you have gone down the chimney? We know what's in, in store for him, don't we? <clears throat> that third little pig was a very smart little guy, and he always was very thoughtful. He took the lid off of that boiling soup, and boy, look at that poor wolf. <sighs> off he went, and they never saw him again. Wow. Have you ever wondered why that wolf went down in that chimney to get to them? He must have been really hungry. If you were the wolf and you were really hungry, what would you have done? Hmm, I can't wait to find out.